Hey everybody, welcome back to this war of mine. We're on day 21. We're just over halfway through our journey. Um, I don't know if we're on track to be successful, to be quite honest. And let's see. So the night was good. Catch had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. We got some sugar, we got a little bit of food, we got some veggies. Can't really complain. She is very tired. I'm going to send her to bed ASAP. I can almost guarantee that I'm going to accidentally chop down a bed at some point. Uh, I'm going to have Bruno come up here and uh, eat. Who else is really hungry? Nobody. So that's a good sign. Pavel's quite tired, but... Uh, not really much I can do for him. I'll send him right to bed, I guess. We'll have Bruno eat, so he's at least got something going on in his life. And then, uh, we'll figure out what to do with Marco. Actually, Marco can come and repair our helmet. Because for some reason, I thought I had done it. But I am apparently a dummy, so... Yeah. I'm gonna make a real helmet. Which might actually do something for us, if we ever need to use it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I have enough to make, uh, one thing of moonshine because we are a bit short on water. Which means I'm gonna make a filter, get some more water going, and then we've got a couple of veggies. Maybe get him to cook something, but truthfully he could cook it tomorrow. Not in too much of a rush there. We're gonna chop down this thing, we're gonna check our radio, and then we're probably gonna go back to the hotel and, uh, see if we can finagle around there a bit. I'm definitely going to be taking some protection because if things get hairy, um, we gotta we gotta be careful. And we gotta be ready. Uh, let's see. Filter. Let's make one of these. And Bruno, if you don't mind, I know you're tired. Oh, hello. You have something I'll like. Okay. Katja, do you mind coming to barter with this guy? It's kind of your thing. Now, I want to look at how much it's going to cost to upgrade our furnace. It's plus 18. This fuel's lasting quite a while. Uh, we definitely still need the thermal regulator, and I think... So we're going to need components and electrical parts, right? We have one electrical part, which is disappointing, to say the least. Alright, what do you have here? Okay, he's got cigarettes, food. Um, he's got some parts, which is cool. I just don't know that we have much we can actually trade him. I'm thinking I'm just going to wait until our moonshine is done. Once that's done, then we have something we can at least trade to him. And we'll take basically as many parts as we can get from it. We definitely have a lot of wood. So I might even want to consider boarding up our place more. We've got, I think, three installations of, uh, of boarded up walls going. Let's see. Actually, I don't think we can even do any more. We have a reinforced door, which would be amazing, but, uh, electrical parts. I wonder, there's gotta be something somewhere where there's, like, an electrical parts storage unit. <laughs> And we just haven't found it. So some of our listeners report that the military has been committing acts of violence towards civilians. The spokesman for the military denies, of course. It's going to be getting much colder. Having suffered heavy losses, the military retreated to their previous positions and resumed the strategy of avoiding direct confrontation. Movement around the city should once again be possible. That opens up a lot of things for us. So it's strange that it says they report the military has been committing acts of violence, but now it's... They're avoiding direct confrontation. I guess I should be pretty happy about that. Okay, Marco, I'm gonna have you gather this moonshine when it's done. We'll make a trade, then we can send Katja back to sleep. Okay. What could we get from this? How about materials? I think that's pretty good, honestly. Being able to get nine of these things for one bottle of moonshine that we can just kind of make more of. It's not too shabby. 
All right, let's send you up here to get another filter or some more water going, I should say. Catch you. I'm going to send you back to bed. And I'm thinking new priority instead of the garden is going to be the, um, the fireplace, the heater. But we put in two fuel yesterday, and we still have them going, so... So far, efficiency-wise, it's not as bad as I kind of thought it was going to be. Um, Bruno, can you just sleep for now? Pavel's actually done, so I'm going to have Bruno... By sleep, I mean sit, but now I'm going to actually have you sleep. And Pavel, I'll have you come and sit up here. Everybody's fed. Don't have too much to worry about in that regard. Look, bro, we traded with you. I guess what we could do, if he is gonna... If he is gonna stand there, once the water is done, we could have Bruno whip up another batch of moonshine. Potentially. How's our food going? Not bad. How much would it cost if we wanted to build another food trap? Uh, where is it? We would need more parts, so we're a bit low on that, unfortunately. The water, I don't think, is going to be really done by the end of the day. We're not going to be able to get water, make the moonshine, and let and see him. So I'm just going to tell him goodbye. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so she's tired. Bruno's very tired, but he's relaxing. Pavel's okay, and Marco's doing great, all things considered. So, uh, let's go ahead and end the day here. Okay, so, we have all these other areas now that we've never even visited. Example, Ruined Villa. Uh, quiet House. It's in a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area of little houses with porches and gardens. Most of these houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives. We've got nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. So, less enthused to go there. Small apartment building is dangerous. Uh, we have the garage. And... Was it... We ran into somebody somewhere that needed, like, medical supplies, I think. I think it was the garage. Semi-detached house. Uh, you can hear shots fired there. Probably scour the abandoned part for supplies if we manage to sneak past the inhabited part. Danger. 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 God. Caution. It's been shelled uh, several times. There was a fire newest bandit raids, and yet it still operates. Some wards still admit patients and save lives, mostly thanks to Dr. Jeff Famau, a renowned surgeon who remains steadfast and keeps the others in line. Now, kind of like the church thing, if we go there, we're probably going to have to steal. Um, maybe we go back to the hotel. It's risky, but at least we kind of know what to expect. Yeah. Bruno's going to have to stay in bed. He's very tired. We'll have the other two guard. Marco's going to scavenge. Um, I just don't know where we want to go. About the quiet house, unless we're willing to steal. Supermarket, but it's dangerous. Construction site is snipers. Hospital is bit mega stealing. Uh, military outpost, obviously bad. School, rebel militia. Danger. Um, hmm. Maybe we go back to the hotel. Yeah, let's go back to the hotel. Lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. What I need is huge amounts of parts. Who has huge amounts of parts? You'd think the construction site would. Okay, military outpost does. Those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol and cigarettes, but be careful, you never know what to expect. So... Probably best for trading, maybe not for stealing. And if the military catches us stealing, that's probably not a good thing. But can we really trust the military? I don't know. We're going to go the risky route and go back to the hotel. Okay, so now we do have a, a working helmet. 
We're going to take a gun. And I don't know how many bullets we need, but we'll take this many bullets. Uh, we'll take a crowbar, an axe, a saw. We're just going to take all of these things. I guess. That takes up a lot of our spots, but... See if we can't put the bullets in the gun. You know, like, that would probably make sense. Do we need... Maybe I'll ditch the axe. Don't know that we would need that. I don't remember if we have too many places we're going through rubble. But we're gonna grab it anyways. And one thing I should really start doing is, um... Leaving, like, the first uh, little thing that we find, like, the scavenging points so that we could uh, just move everything there and then take it all later. But I guess that's kind of tough in this scenario. Okay, so I'm thinking a good way for us to go would be down here if these guys would ever leave. I would also think it would be great is if we could, like, use a rock or something to distract them, make a noise, like, up top. Man, there's so many. It's the fridge, right? This guy says it can't sit forever. I really don't know if he actually leaves. Need to okay, so you're obviously not leaving anytime soon. Let's keep going up. We got more here. Okay, it looks like we can go up even further. We do have a hiding place, thankfully. I wonder if those are 100% reliable. Okay, nobody's in here. Let's be very quiet. Shh. This is where the dead bodies were, right? Yeah, deranged psychopath. Fantastic. That's what we need. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that could have been bad. Okay. My legs went numb. Where's this guy going now? Go anywhere but up. Looks like that's the case. Okay, we've got a hiding place. What do we have in here? Who's this? Is this one of them? No, oh, it's locked. What is this, like a... What is this? This is risky. Don't shoot me. There's a note scraped on the wall. Every night I hear screams. I can't take it much longer. I dread the moment when they come for me. God save me, please. I think that's... Is that good? I think that's... I think that's good. Did we just save somebody? Sounds like it. He's out of here. That's cool. I'm a bit worried about the noise he might have been making. Okay, well, uh... You're welcome. Oh, oh, go. Go. Hide, 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 hide. Holy sh... <laughs> Ooh. Looks pretty reliable. Wonder if he's gonna go in there and check and realize that nobody's there. Close. Okay, let's take this stuff, whatever it is. I'm not going to feel bad taking from these guys. I'm pretty sure they just had a hostage in there. 
Like, I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Oh, nice! Lots of components. Beautiful. What do we not need? Maybe we don't need the medicinal ingredients. Like, I can't use anything. Can't use them for anything anyway. We're pretty much stacked now, right? This is risky now. Oh, please don't come in here. Now we gotta get the hell out. Go away, guys. Yes. Now we see a guy sitting down here, unfortunately. What's he doing all of a sudden? I wonder if I could sneak in... Yeah, this is bad. This is bad now. Oh god, no. Go down, go down. Run! Oh, he's missed. What? Oh, he's shooting! Run, 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 run! Oh my god, oh my god. No! Oh no! This is gonna be bad. We're in a very dangerous zone. This is not good. This is, uh, okay, I'm nervous now. We were raided. What happened? Someone tried to rob us, they meant business, but we managed to fend them off, thankfully. Uh, we had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. None of us was wounded, the attackers didn't steal anything, we're able to defend ourselves, there have been some problems, but we hope Marco will soon be back. Okay. So... Yeah, we had some weapons, but we took that pistol. Damn, that could have been bad. Bruno is... Okay, good. This is good. Actually, that worked out okay. Um... I think we got a bit lucky. Is there, Oh, she's concerned about robbing those guys? See, that's what I was worried about. Where's the water? Oh, it's still not done. Okay. Catcher, why don't you sleep for now? Pavel, why don't you sleep for now? Here's a fingers crossed that Marco makes it home okay. Oh, is the water not... Oh, I see. We didn't finish even the preparation of it. Those people were crazy. Did you see the dead bodies, Katya? Deep wound, he could use some bandages. Okay, so he brought a lot in. How injured... Very hungry, wounded. Okay, so that's not the worst thing that could have happened. Now we're waiting for water. We could have somebody eat the canned food. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll have Marco eat that. Here, bandage up and then eat. Bruno, come on down. Those people had- I don't get why people are so upset about this. We even- they- looks like they had somebody trapped in the- like a bathroom, and he's gone. Thought we'd be feeling pretty good about ourselves, but I guess not. I guess not. Okay, once the water is done prepping, I'll have you do a little bit of cooking, Bruno. Um... Oh man, I'd really like to get a lot of sugar so that we could just bust out a bunch of moonshine and then go trade. Um, and we have, I mean, we can make two bottles, but we just need a ton more water. Any bio updates? Yeah, Pavel has some.
Okay, I'm pretty sh I'm sure Marco risked helping that hostage for a good reason. Okay, so he does recognize that. Now his story. Uh, you just can't lock kids inside with nothing to do, so my boy formed a football team. It was heartbreaking to watch them train in a dark basement. Came up with an idea to organize a Begorian Cup. Even though I was terrified, we invited three other teams. We had a very serious problem to overcome. It's cool, people in these scenarios, they, don't, they still need to enjoy themselves at some point and have some fun. Our neighbors like to ask for help. Marco, our community doesn't need to range criminals. I let them know we're vigilant. Okay. I'm not sure how to take that exactly. Okay, come up here, and then when that water's done, we'll get it going. We've got more food ready here. And I will just place one more inside. And let's check the radio now. It's gonna get much colder. How many acts of violence? Still. Military retreated to previous positions and resumed strategy of avoiding direct confrontation, so no new updates. Okay, water's almost done. We're gonna get another one going. Doesn't look like we're getting any visitors today, unfortunately. We may want to start getting into making some more weapons, actually. In order to do that, we would need to upgrade the bench. Um, these goddamn electric parts are going to be the death of me. I mean, we might... I don't know. Maybe we could get by on just surviving. <laughs> if that makes any sense, like... Just keep our guys fed and hope for the best when we defend, but... Okay, so Pavel and Katya definitely need to eat. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's see if we can do some cooking. Okay, we just need one extra water, which will come soon enough, and then we'll feed them. Feel bad about taking those things. I mean, guys, there's worse things. Katja, come play the guitar for everybody. Cheer everybody up. And Pavel, I know you're still a bit tired, but I'm going to get you to put some wood on here. Chopping all that stuff in the house actually provided tons of fuel, so... We should be good to go for quite a while. I'd really like to get these guys fed, like, today. So, if we could go ahead and get this water going... That would be immensely helpful. Our day's probably gonna end at, what, 7? 8? Here's hoping. Looks like he wants to go read. Okay, I'm gonna bring her over here. Let's have Pavel come over here. We'll get them at least fed before nighttime. Close, anyway. Okay, so she's very hungry, which means we might not want to keep her out tonight. Um, maybe we could try and go scavenge a new area with Pavel. I'd like to keep Marco in bed. She's very hungry. I hope she's okay to guard for the night. 
We could maybe keep Marco. He is just wounded. I'm going to keep him on guard. It's risky, but I don't know. I don't know. Where was the thing with the abandoned? Uh, there's If we're willing to get past the abandoned part or the... Let's see. Might be willing to trade, semi-detached. Probably scour the abandoned part for supplies if we manage to sneak past the inhabited part. Ooh, it's risky for sure, but... I think I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's take some of these supplies. And just the helmet. We'll leave the weapons behind. We have everybody guarding. Okay. Well, we've already got action here. He's scavenging across the courtyard. Can they see us from here? They shouldn't be able to. Bozina will shoot him on sight. Oh, nice electrical parts. Thank you. Okay, this bottom area, this could prove to be fruitful. Oh no, don't come down here. Trash and dirt, of course. Looks like we should be able to saw through here relatively easily. Look at this guy. What, you hear that? Is that us? There better be something good here. Ah, uh, not great. So we gotta watch out for this Bozina. Okay, this person just went back up top. It's a pretty good giveaway. If I go out there, I'm getting shot. If I come up here, I could try and break the door down, but... That's gonna be really loud, and then whoever's here... What about jumping up top? Oh. I don't even think we can get through here. We don't have... Unless the crowbar can do it. What, do you see us? Oh, that's just open! Oh, damn it. Let's hide here and see. Let's see what they're doing. Uh-oh. Oh, that is freaky. Whoa! We're out. We're out. I don't think we got hit. Whew. Okay, yeah, that's a bit risky too. My god. We did get an electrical part. So there's that. 